Guys, on the down note today, it's a very special day. If you guys know, this is Bolo's car. Bolo is the assistant to follow. I'm sure most of you guys know that, but for those of you who don't. So Bolo finally put the new motor in his car. It's an all motor B20 V, 13 and a half to one compression, uh, built head, the whole nine yards. It is on stock rods, so we have the rods machined um, to the pistons and got it all set up correctly with help from our local machine shop. Um, but yeah, we're gonna throw this thing on the dyno, hoping to make a little over 200 some horsepower. All motor, the Carson 85 has injectors, the whole basic nine yards, but really cool, really cost effective setup. So, throw this thing on the dyno, see how much power she can make. And I know you guys have been wanting to see some more B series content. I don't, we don't show any B series all motor stuff, so but a little bit different today. Throw this B series all motor B20V on the dyno, and we're gonna see how much power she can make this Bolo's car. So, like I said, it's a really special day, so let's go ahead and see what he can do. Guys, so the last pull that just made on this car was 220 horsepower. So we're going to follow is gonna go ahead and jump in, start making some adjustments to the cam gear so we can eke out a little bit more power. What you just saw there was 200 219, 220 horsepower with the cam zeroed out. So are you gonna advance or retard it? He's gonna advance the cams, and we're gonna go piece by piece, maybe degree by degree, or whatever, line by line. See which one makes the optimal power band, and then we're going to go from there. So you guys are going to see back-to-back -back pulls, different cam angles, and we're going to see how much power this car can actually make. So followed it a half degree timing advance on the cam. And you guys can see this difference right here. 
211 to 214. At one point, I think it was even full horsepower there, 216, 212. So it looks good right there, guys. That's four horsepower on half a degree, two to the four on average on half a degree. Advance, and he's gonna add another one. And do you have any hints or tips or tricks as far as setting this cam set up without using a cam card, I guess? Uh, I mean, we normally kind of, you know, we don't go too extreme without, you know, just on the dyno. Um, kind of like rule of thumb that what I've seen is like when you advance it, it kind of likes it at low power. Mm -hmm. And then when you start retarding, it kind of likes it on the, like towards right. the top. So I, I normally, like if you want to get some, you know, some lower end power, um, you should try to advance. And if you're trying to look at the top, uh, back. should retard. Right. Every, every, every motor is different, but this is kind of like what I've seen. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different settings that you can try unless you just dial it in with the cam card. Right. But even with the cam card we've even tried after it's been set and we we find a couple of horsepower here right. and there, you know, right. however we wherever we want it, you know. Right. There's different settings for uh that you can play around. Like if you want more of a little street car light the light or you want the more power like from the bottom to mid mm -hmm. if you're wanting like a full track car you're just wanting you really don't care over here because from the moment you launch you're already in the right. mid to higher end power so um, it just it just depends the, the application right and this is for those who don't know this is b series h series that stuff k series you don't have to make the mechanical adjustment that's what the vtc does yeah, with the vtc but we're just here messing around i mean yep. Let me let me look up his old chart so you can see the difference of where we should be. <laughs> oh boy. Or what what sh what he should see. <laughs> oh jeez. That's a B16 with like intake header and exhaust, and then this is a B20 VTEC intake header exhaust. With obviously more right. compression, and uh, I think this was pump gas. Um, yeah. The blue one. This is the 85. Um, Obviously, bigger bore, more compression, bigger cams, but he should feel quite a bit of a difference. Uh, Motorized torque now. Uh, almost, almost 65 horsepower. I would say tinkering with it, we should see around 222 to 225. But I think this motor honestly wants some type of exhaust on right. it or piping. Um, that's that could be a full another full video like we've we've done a lot of testing on the road race car and stuff and just inches mm -hmm. uh, right. makes you know again wherever you you're wanting to see the power difference right. or whatever but you're tuning where you want the power to be mechanically with the exhaust and the intake and things like that Paulo just i mean bolo just wants power so right <laughs> so we're just I'm I'm getting more up here because I know that's that's what he's wanting. But. That's where he's gonna be living. Yeah. Oh, so I gotta kind of be careful with the timing with this guy and the air fuel. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, make another pull and see what she can do. That last pull, you guys, one horsepower picked up there, 221, 153. Just a little bit and like i said we're seeing the power as alex said when you retard he said when you retard the cam you get more power on the upper end when you advance you're looking more on the bottom end we're trying to get that more top end push you're going to see the peak horsepower rise a little bit um but what we've seen right here and this is about the this range right here we're picking up like two or three each time just going up the list checking the air fuel 13.0 across the board a little bit rich 12.6, So you might look at this last number and saw 221 and then 218 until we dropped three horsepower. But the chart tells the real story. If you look at the line here, the red line is above the blue line the entire time up until about 7700 RPM. So what's happened is we've got a lot of power in the mid-range for that last cam adjustment. I'm not sure how much power exactly it was. I think when I looked it was like 7 or 8 horsepower. So across the entire range, pick up 7 horsepower compared to the last adjustment. That's a big adjustment in the mid-range mid for that cam adjustment alone. And that's what we're seeing, just, just turning, I think, like maybe a degree, degree and a half since we started. Guys, 
So we got the peak power back looks like Alex might add a little more timing right here. And then we've got the mid range from the mechanical adjustment of the cam gear right here to here. Looks really good right there. 11, so down in the mid a little bit, but on the top looks like I picked up another another two or three horsepower there. So looks really good, just a little adjustment. Just trying to eke out every little horsepower we can get out of this thing. All right, you guys, that's gonna wrap up that last dyno. Final numbers, 221, 154. Now I've got on the chart here, comparing before when the cam was zeroed out to what we got it to right now. So if you look, you can see there's power gains all the way across the board. Um, about peak power, they kind of even out. Like I said, there's about a one horsepower difference between the top down and the peak. But the real story here is in this mid-range area here in the mid, we're looking anywhere between looks like about six to seven, if not eight or nine horsepower in the mid. So it's across the entire board, and that's only from the cam angle change. No other adjustments made. So there you guys can kind of see the difference between where the cam angles are now. Ideally, when you're putting the engine together, when you receive the cams, you're gonna get a cam card, you wanna degree the engine in with the cam card and get it all set up. We usually this as a demonstration to show you what zero versus adding advanced. To get the optimal power from your car, you're going to need to take the cam card, set up with it the way that it's supposed to be set up, um, use the degree wheel, all that stuff go through there. And once you get to there, you can then make adjustments on the dyno, advance or retard, and kind of see the, the results um, back and forth. I mean, that's what we do with a race car and things like that as well. You basically had to play with a little bit, but the cam card gives you a good idea. And then when you degree and make a chart, you'll be able to see your piston valve clearances and all that stuff as well to make sure you're not putting your engine in the danger zone. Now, to go a little bit farther into the technical side, as far as how this all works, as you can see, we had the mechanically shift the cam gears back and forth to make them where we wanted to. On the B series, the A series, the F series, the single cam, all that stuff, that's how it all works. On the K series engines, they come with what's called VTC or variable timing control or variable, variable cam control. Um, what that does is basically everything we just did there mechanically is actually all done on a solenoid um, and it's actually controlled via the computer. That's why the K series is kind of at an advantage. With the mechanical cam timing differences, you basically are able to adjust the bottom end or adjust the top end by advancing or retarding the cam and it just sits there that's where it is permanently the entire time. On the K series, that is dynamic and changing all the time. So when you want power on the bottom end, for instance, we can command a certain cam angle and then we want power on the top and we can have another cam angle. So basically it's getting the best of all worlds and it's more optimized. And that's basically the difference between that 20 years of technology between the B and the K. Obviously the B series is a great engine. The K series is just more of that engineering with even more stuff on top. So, I mean, hopefully you learned something there with the cam stuff, but uh, Bolo's car is ready to rock. He's got the B20 in it now. He's gone from a B16, yeah. so he's going to get a bit more power, Bolo. That's like, what, 70 more? Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. So Bolo's been ready. He's got the little motor car ready to rock. got his k-killer ready <laughs> that's what he says uh so we're gonna go ahead uh let him loose let him have some fun with the car uh get back to work and then uh yeah all right you guys so that's gonna wrap up this video i know this video is kind of random and kind of all the place i don't know what we're doing um it's been uh maybe over five days over the past three weeks we've been kind of busy doing some stuff but everything's kind of finally slowed down from the taxi and stuff and then coronavirus has kind of hit so we've we've slowed down really slow so now we're able to make more content and stuff for you guys so we're gonna go ahead and get that all taken care of. But to kind of recap, we had Bolo's car on the dyno. Um, we did finish that Integra. I don't know if the Integra's even gonna be in the video. Um, finished the HGN Civic as well. Um, we got a lot of stuff in action right now. Follow's building a lot of motors for some multiple cars right now. Um, we're building an RSX right now, and then a uh, sport front wheel drive car, another sport front wheel drive car. Um, we're finishing up the black EK. That car is gonna be done really soon as well, and the CRX that's over there, the, the, the gray CRX. So they're all getting knocked out. We're doing piece by piece on each one of those cars. So we're getting them all taken care of. Um, but like, uh, I just want to make an announcement as well for some of you guys that are interested in Honda products as well. Sorry for this quick ad, it's gonna be really quick. Honda is currently closed for coronavirus stuff, so they're in Colorado, California, so they can't do it, um, do installs and stuff. So if you need a K Pro or an S300 installed, you need to contact a Honda dealer um, to get it installed. We are a certified installer, so we can do K Pros, S300s. If you don't have one yet and you wanted to get one with your tax return money or whatever money you're getting. The current situation, hit us up, shop at humbleformance.com. We got K Pros, S300s, everything in stock. Also, if you want to upgrade your game, you already have a Honda, you want to go to the next level. Haltech Elite 1500s in stock. Got the 1500 plus the jumper harness to make it plug and play for you. So be sure to check that out. 
Um, other than that, guys, I'm going to try to get more content out to you guys because, like I said, we've slowed down a little bit so we're able to catch back up. We know the K-Series Turbo Kit shipped out. We've done the V2. I'll make an announcement on that for the next video. But I hope you guys learned something. I try to make it a little bit educational. And, uh, yeah, that's all i got for today, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one.